Hi, this is Randy Rice with another testing video for you. Today we're going to talk about what some of the purposes of software testing can be. And as we mentioned in the video on what is software testing, we saw that you can define it in a lot of ways. Well, likewise, you can have a lot of purposes for software testing. For example, your main purpose may be to find defects or it could be to gain confidence about the level of overall quality and provide that information to management. That's typ typically the case when you have commercial off-the-shelf software that you're testing. You may be in more of a preventative mode where you want to use testing to identify defects early and prevent them from getting in out to the end user, but also to improve your processes based on that information. You may want to determine the correctness of how user requirements have been implemented. Uh, another one is to reduce the risk of operational problems. And once again, you do that by identifying the risk throughout the project and then use the information from testing to assess the level of those risks throughout the project. You may want to prove correctness. And we mentioned in the previous video on what is testing that correctness proof is kind of a weak test because you can always construct a set of data that will let your software succeed. But it's only until you push it to the breaking point and out to some of the boundaries that you start to see where it fails. Some people want to certify uh, software to a particular standard, such as a safety standard or uh, some kind of compatibility standard. You can also validate that the customer uh, needs have been met by the software, and you can determine if certain contract or legal requirements have been met. So all of these are very valid purposes of testing. The, the key idea, though, and the key question is, what is your purpose of software testing? And so it really depends on your viewpoint. Like if you're on the development side of the equation, your goal may be to find defects, to know when to release the software, and also provide information to project management so that they can make an informed decision. Now, if you're the customer of software, then your goal might be to show that the application will meet your needs, as well as to assess confidence in the application. Your primary goal, in that case, might not be to find defects. It's to prove that the application will support your business processes. So, in determining your purpose of software testing, you may look at things also like maintenance testing. You may go into more of a regression test kind of mode where you're looking to make sure that no new errors have been introduced. So your main goal may be to keep er errors out of the software. And then during operational testing, you may be looking at things such as overall system performance or system av availability or reliability, things that you may only be able to judge accurately uh, in live usage of the software. Now, in my opinion, one of the best places to define your purpose of testing is in a test strategy. This is just a high-level document that communicates what the big picture objectives are for software testing in your, co in your context, in your projects, and in your organization. You can develop a strategy in a matter of hours, and it's a great brainstorming exercise. It should fit in a couple of pages, and it's a great tool for communication. And it's a great way to start building out the rest of your test planning and documentation items. Finally, I just want to talk for just a second about the role of testing in a project, what testing can and cannot do. So testing can find defects and can find opportunities for improvement based on things that you've staked out in your scope that you would want to test. But what testing can't do is guarantee there will be no more defects simply because you can't test everything. And the only way that you could give proof that you had found all the defects would be to test everything. And even in fairly normal, non-trivial applications, uh, you're dealing with perhaps millions and billions, billions of possible combinations of conditions to test. Well, I hope this kind of helps put testing in perspective for you in terms of the purposes of it, and what it can and cannot do. This is Randy Rice from RiceConsulting.com. If you have any more questions about software testing or getting trained in testing,
drop by my website and visit us, write me a note from the website. Once again, this is Randy Rice from riceconsulting.com.